I asked ChatGPT to generate me its best vegan recipe, and what did it give me? Chickpea curry. But that got me to thinking. AI has come a long way in the last few years, but can it really replace that human touch? I decided to find out who's got the better recipe, man or machine. I'll be doing a blind taste test at the end to keep things fair. First up, the AI recipe. In the true spirit of this competition, I had ChatGPT generate me a script to present its own recipe to you guys. So without further ado, may I present to you a tale of two recipes, man versus machine. Opening shot of a kitchen with ingredients on the counter and a person wearing an apron. Yo, what's up, internet fam? Today, we're going to make a dope vegan chickpea curry that's going to blow your taste buds out of the water. All right, let's get this party started. We're going to saute some onions, ginger, and garlic because we're not basic. We're going to add some flavor with some turmeric, cumin, and coriander because we're not boring. And we're going to bring the heat with some chili powder because we're not weak. Cute confident tone. All right, now it's time to add the star of the show, the chickpeas. These little guys are packed with protein and flavor. So you know this is going to be good. And if you're worried about missing out on the meat, don't worry, the chickpeas got your back. Cue shot of flexing biceps. Okay, now it's time to add some liquid. We're going to use some coconut milk because we're not basic, again. This is going to give the curry a creamy texture and a subtle sweetness that will blow your mind. Cue shot of coconut milk being poured into the pot. Alright, now we let this bad boy simmer for a bit until the flavors meld together like a family on Thanksgiving. Cue shot of the finished curry. Alright, let's look at this bad boy. Oh my god it's so beautiful I might even make this my new profile pic. Cue shot of the person holding up the curry like it's a trophy. Alright, fam, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and being part of the movement. Let's change the world, one chickpea at a time. Alright, well, that was... something. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Because I refuse to live in a post-apocalyptic Terminator-style wasteland, we must beat these machines. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes. So we're gonna be pulling out all the stops and using some pro-level moves cooking our own chickpeas, using fresh tomatoes, toasting up our spices, whatever it takes. We actually start the night before by covering our chickpeas in water and allowing it to soak for at least six hours or overnight. The reason that we're cooking our own is we should never pass up an opportunity to add flavor. Of course, you could use canned if you're a soulless robot. So in a pressure cooker or instrument pot, we'll add our soaked chickpeas and cover with water. We'll add salt, spices, garlic, and half an onion. Pressure cook on high for 15 minutes and let the pressure release naturally. Meanwhile, we'll prep up our aromatics. Onions, ginger, garlic, chilies, and turmeric. Don't worry about fancy cuts. This is meant to be as easy as possible. If you can't get fresh turmeric, just use a little bit of powder. It's all good. Add those to a large pot with some oil and a hefty pinch of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. The salt and sugar will help draw out the water and help these guys cook out a little bit faster and caramelize a little bit quicker. Strain our cooked chickpeas, reserving the liquid and discarding our little onion friend. Cook these until they begin to caramelize and then scooch everything off to the side and add another touch of oil and go in with all of our spices. We're going with cumin, garam masala, and some pre-made curry powder. This is one of those pro moves that really wakes up the spices and really enhances the flavor. Do not skip this step. Going with our chickpea water, a can of coconut milk, and our chopped tomatoes. Let this simmer for 45 minutes up to an hour. Then we come back and blend up our sauce, add our chickpeas and cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. Lastly, we'll add our secret ingredient. No, this is not the baggie you scored behind the community college. This is called fenugreek and it's the only hard to source ingredient in this whole recipe. These leaves are optional, but highly recommended. It is a sweet, mapley, herbaceous flavor and it's what give butter chicken its signature flavor. So if you're into that, you'll definitely want to include these. Kill the heat, stir that in, and done. All right, you guys, that's it for both recipes. We're gonna go ahead and get into the taste test now. Let's go. All right, you guys, final taste test. I got A, I, and A, and I got B for me. I'm gonna go off camera, slip on this blindfold. My partner's gonna scramble these up, and I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts. Here we go. We'll start with this one. 
There's the bite. Go in for the taste. Yeah, that's really good. Really balanced, nice creamy chickpeas on the softer side, but really, really tasty. Uh, subtle sweetness and uh, a little kick of heat in the back of the throat. Also getting a little slight bit of herbaceousness, which is really, really fucking good. Damn, all right. I hope that wasn't the AI one because that was really, really good. This is number two here. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Here's a bite. They're both extremely good. I will say um, this one, the sauce isn't as creamy. There are still some uh, chunks to chew on and the chickpeas are a little bit firmer, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Gotta make a choice here. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hands down this one without question. So, moment of truth. Let's see if we were actually able to beat the AI. And we did. I will say this recipe is very good and it is honestly very easy. Everything's all canned goods, a couple cans of chickpeas, can of tomatoes, can of, so for like a weeknight dinner, this is pretty damn good. And I will be posting this in the description as well. I'd highly recommend checking it out. But the extra work did pay off for sure. It's, the chickpeas have a better texture. It's got that subtle sweetness. It's more balanced. It's just, it's, it's a better bite. This will also be in the description. Make this. All right, you guys. So there we have it. Man triumphs over machine, at least for now. If you want to see me face off against any other AI recipes, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see. Otherwise, if you like what you saw here today, you know what to do. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.